Our crew want to refresh our training readiness for nighttime assists. And one of our radio operators join us in order to experience the boating aspect of Coast Guard's operations. We're going to tune out tonight. We're going to get the opportunity of doing two toes. Sorry, we're going to do two toes. Yeah. We were going to do one, but then Rod came to me and says, well, actually, you can do them on the same night. So we're going to do two for Mick. Mick's going to run the show. They have got the boys next door are going to go away and hide. We're going to go somewhere calm to start with because we don't know what it's going to be like past the, the lighthouse in the south east. We don't know the swells in the But when they did the ashes scattering today at Alex Edmund, it was like that. So we're going to go there initially, get one under our belt. Then when they're happy, they're going to push themselves out to a point where they're happy. They'll dominate, they'll dominate where we go for the center. So the idea is we bring them in, under tow, short the tow as we do normally when we come through, check the bar conditions, in public pontoon, as if we're going to raft them, we'll have raft them up. Clive then handed over to Mick, who completed the briefing, as darkness fell. Time also to bring out, and check, the night vision gear. We're going to go off, have a look, see what's going on, have a quick chat with them. Uh, and then uh, we'll proceed. We'll mostly be pulling them back, uh, obviously towing them in, uh, rafting them up. So we just want to find out where they want to go and what the problem is. Okay. Nighttime creates greater challenges, not least in trying to locate and then safely maneuver around the distressed vessel. Instruments and controls and handling of gear on deck all become more difficult when trying to balance what you can see with retaining night vision. Today we are helped by a near full moon. On a moonless night with weather and rain kicking up, conditions can turn nasty. Our second assist is made tougher with the distressed vessel simulating having no lights. Instruments like FLIR, night vision binoculars, Searchlights and radar may then come into play to assist all eyes scanning the waters around us. Your anchor up. Yes, it is. This is what we're going to do. Everything except which side you're going to throw the heaving line. Probably could do all in one go. And remember to tell people to steer behind them. Yeah, as well. And the command, well, I mean, you're maneuvering the difficulty lights. That's what's behind you. But they were yeah. on. They were on. Oh, yeah, they're on. They were. Yeah, they're on. Still on there now, though. Yeah, another one now. I couldn't see it. All right, yeah. What's it called? We end with a debrief to go over the challenges and lessons learnt on this exercise. <laughs> <laughs>